The IGF thus provides a neutral space where all actors have a chance to express their views and be heard and create momentum for mobilizing decisions and actions. In this dialogue, the voice of developing countries must be heard. Good and democratic internet governance is the means of achieving development for all. I would like to invite each of you, regardless of country, role, or status, to express your views, to make yourself heard and understood, and to understand the views of others in the spirit of inclusion and open debate. This brings me to a critical decision that we will have to make about the future of IGF. The World Summit on the Information Society recognized that the internet needed new ways of addressing governance issues. Heads of state and government gathered in Tunisia in 2005 carefully considered some of the founding principles of the internet. From this perspective, they decided to ask the Secretary General of the United Nations to convene a new multi-stakeholder platform to discuss public policy issues related to internet governance in what we know, now know as the Internet Governance Forum. At its inception, the IGF was given a provisional lifespan of five years. The Tunisia agenda specifically called on the Secretary General, I quote, to examine the desirability of the continuation of the forum in formal consultations with forum participants within five years of its creation and to make recommendations to the UN membership in this regard. In the court. These important consultations will be held at this meeting in Sheikh Mera Sheikh later this week. I encourage you to participate fully in these meetings and to share your views. If you believe the forum is valuable, I would encourage you to say so and tell us it, tell us in what way. If you believe it can be improved, I would encourage you to say that too and tell us how. If you believe that IGF has fulfilled its purpose, I would encourage you to speak out against an extension of the mandate and tell us why. 